we're now supposed to be known, instead of North Wisconsin District LWML, LWML comes first. But anyhow, um, I get all your checks from your societies, so I'm always anxious and um, encouraged to come to these rallies where I can meet the different people and I see your names on your checks. How many are or are or have been treasurers of your societies? Okay, I'll have to match that name with that face. <laughs> okay, um, I am here today to bring President Jones' message, so I will go on with that. Spring 2023 district readings. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Psalm 100, verses 1 and 2. As Lutheran women in mission, we joyfully proclaim Christ, support missions, and equip women to honor God by serving others. At the spring retreat at Camp Luther on April 15th, we joined together with our LWML sisters for a fun day of fellowship and relaxation. Thank you to the Leader Development Committee for the hours involved planning and presenting. News from the Board of Directors February meeting. We voted to pay grant number four to the Hanna Center in the amount of $10,000 and grant number six to Lutheran Heritage Foundation for $8,500. We are able to fund these grants because of your faithful giving. And I did notice on your program today, which was very inclusive, that you listed the grants and how many are paid, so you can follow on that. The North Wisconsin District is sending two buses to the convention. The buses will take people to their Milwaukee hotel on Wednesday, June 21st, and pick up passengers after the convention is over on Sunday. Since there are not more rooms available in downtown Milwaukee, LWML has contracted with shuttle services for those staying in outlying hotels. Please contact Bonnie Grosskopf for more information on the buses. The three young women representatives that North Wisconsin District is sending to convention are Zone 2, Amy Gawry, Zone 3, Holly Schmidt, Zone 16, Andy Anderson. Please pray for these young women as they prepare for this experience and while they are at convention as they learn more about the many ways to serve through the LWML. This year, our delegates will be voting electronically in May for the 2023-2025 LWML mission grants, and the rest of the voting will take place in person. Please let your delegate know if you have a preference for any of the mission grant proposals or elective positions. She is representing you. Voting information can be found online at www.lwml.org 2023 convention. The LWML convention in Milwaukee is getting ready to host thousands. Please log on to lwml.org, select news and events, and then select Convention Central for updated information on the scheduled events of the Milwaukee convention. At the convention, there will be four offerings taken. One of them, offering number three, will be taken on Saturday, is designated for the Wolf River Lutheran High School Scholarship Fund in Shano, which is in our district. Now, is that in your zone? Okay, and uh, Joan told us at the meeting that that was one of the things that she brought forth at the national convention planning meeting, so I think the whole district is happy about that. The host committee of the Milwaukee Convention, districts North Wisconsin, South Wisconsin, and Northern Illinois, still needs willing workers to help facilitate the convention. There are a variety of jobs open. If you can volunteer your time, please complete the worker application form and turn it into Allison Hines so you can be appointed. Look online at lwml.swd.org, events other for the application. Because of the process that is involved in placing workers, 
We are asking that the deadline for the call for workers volunteer application form should be submitted by May 10th. After that, workers will be assigned where most needed. LWML North Wisconsin Fall Retreat is going to be held on Thursday, September 7th to Saturday, September 9th. The spring issue of Mission Tidings has more information and the registration form will be in the summer issue of Mission Tidings. The golf outing before the convention needs golfers. The golf outing takes place on June 21st. Deadline for reservations is June 10th. Please encourage golfers you might know to attend. The proceeds will help to fund the 2023 to 2025 LWML mission goal. Assembly of Leaders was held in October. Laura Anderson, Kay Schwallenberg, and Michelle Birdsley represented our district in St. Louis along with junior counselor, Reverend Brian Learman, and Mary Harrington in my place as district president. They will be sharing at schedule events or group meeting. A reminder, the speakers list, updated version is found on the website, should be used when selecting a speaker for your rally. If you choose to have someone who is not on the list, you will need to contact the district president and the pastoral counselors for approval. Speakers can be added to the list by sending the request to Susan Ladwig, Human Care Committee co-chair, and she will process the request. We need someone to try their hand at being the Mission Tidings editor. Betsy Lane would like to retire. There are a few, a few people who have inquired, but no takers as of this writing. Plans are in the works for the LWML North Wisconsin District Convention being held in Appleton at the Paper Valley Hilton on June 13th to the 15th, 2024. The theme is Let Your Light Shine, based on Matthew 5:16. Thank you for your many get well wishes that I received and for the prayers of healing on my behalf. My shoulder has healed nicely and my knee replacement has gone rather well. Please consider serving at the district level on a committee. We would love to have you join the group. Serving Jesus with you, Joan Burquist, LWML North Wisconsin District President. And just yesterday, I believe it was, she sent another addition. Mission grant proposals for our 2024 district convention. The proposals are due September 1st, so that's doesn't seem long with winter being so long, just a couple months. But if you have a grant proposal that you want for the district convention, it needs to be submitted by September 1st. Thank you. While those are being handed out, um, I'm going to ask you the question, how's your 80? Have, have um, any of you done other, you know, that's always in the mission tidings, people who are doing 80 different things, um, collecting 80 pieces of, of clothing or something. So they are doing a collage of uh, what different societies have done for what's your 80 for the um, for the convention and 
if your society has something that you want in the collage, I have, um, I have the name of the person that is collecting them. Just give me a call or drop me an email or something. I'll get that to you. Okay, I just want to talk a little bit about the convention. Um, could you raise your hand if you're going to convention, if you're registered? Great, great. Um, the registration forms are still on, on the, the website. If there's anyone that wants to register, register on, through that. Um, and there's also um, other information at lwml.org go to the link for Convention Central. It has all the information that you really need. If there's any questions or anything, um, let, either give me a call or let your president know to get in touch with me and I'll get the answer if I don't have it. Volunteers are still needed. There's a volunteer sign-up sheet um, on that website. And I do have some printed ones here if, um, if you need them. Also, there's, they're collecting gifts from the heart and um, at convention. I have a form that show, tells you what they're looking for. A lot of these things, especially those of us that are going on a bus, we don't want to take, you know, five packets of toilet tissue or something on the bus. Um, so there is, an, an, uh, there is a link to where you, uh, Amazon, you can and get it through Amazon and have it directly sent to convention. Um, there's also an option for some gift cards. And that's what my society is doing. So they're getting these gift cards. And then, of course, I can take them right to convention. That'll be small enough. Yeah. So that's, that's a good idea. And gift cards are always, always welcome. OK, banner. Um, we're going to have a banner, district banner. I have one sample of the banner here. Um, it's going to be a beautiful banner, but there's a lot to it. Two of um, uh, the members are getting together to make this banner. and it's. I think it's going to be outstanding. It looks really great. There's also on the website, there's a, an assortment of those of us who live locally here or maybe have lived in Milwaukee, don't think it's a big deal to go to all these different events in Milwaukee. But anybody that's coming from out of state, maybe they want to go to the Harley Museum or to the zoo or something. Um, so there is a whole list of trips that are available during the convention. And um, you might want to look at that again. It's all on lwml.org, um, Convention Central. Or call me. <laughs> Let me know. I'll get you the answer if I don't know it. Again, the bus, um, it was, I've had several people ask about where's the bus picking us up. We don't know that yet, Sharon, right? They haven't. Did, and, and as soon as I know that, I'll get that information out to your society presidents. That um, also, you know, there is volunteers, they're still looking for volunteer workers, and if you are able to work eight hours, I think it's $80 will go towards your registration fee, so that's kind of a nice thing. Um, and um, if there's any other questions about the convention that you have today, maybe meet me later and, and I'll see if I can give you the answer. If I don't know it, I'll find it. Now, in um, our president's message, it mentioned the um, 2024 district convention, which will be in Appleton. Again, that's almost close enough that we could commute, but there's evening events too you wouldn't want to miss. So just keep that in mind. I think the next thing that we're going to do is the uh, pledge and the the league hymn. So can let's do let's um, Debbie shall, let's do the hymn and then we'll do the pledge. Okay. And that's on the back of your program.
Is that on? Okay, now it's too loud. <laughs> the 22 to 24 mission grants for the, are all, four are completely paid, three are partially paid, and three, uh, nothing is paid. So there's 28,500 left to pay on the ones that are nothing is paid. So they've done really well. And on the other one, um, the national grants are all paid, and there was 9,200 extra, so we did really well with that. Considering that that's change, some of a lot of change, we did, we did really well. So it just shows, you know, it, it, it just really shows what you can do, you know, when a lot of people do a little bit, it really is, it really is effective. Okay, so um, the mission grants, I, I've told you about that. I do have the forms here if you, if you, if you have um, an organization that you want to uh, nominate for a mission grant for the 2024 ballot. And with that, we will move into our business meeting, starting out with roll call, Karen. I think I'm going to just read the numbers that I was given, and if they're not right, instead of having us stand and do that. So we'll draw, try that this way to go a little faster because we're running late. Okay, from Zion uh, Zako, I have zero. Faith United, Gillette, two, is that correct? Who's from G Faith United? That's two. Okay, Emmanuel, White Clay Lake, I have three. Correct, okay. Uh, Tabitha, Ladies Aid, and Hints, five. Correct? If you just say correct or if you know it's right, just let me know. You don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll say five. St. John uh, Green Valley is two. Faith Marinette, four. Tabor, one. <laughs> Zion Ocano is zero. Mount Olive Suring is zero. If there's a mistake, let me know. St. John Suring or Hayes is three. Emmanuel Breed is zero. St. John Gillette or Riverside is zero. St. Jacoby is one. St. Paul, Town of Washington is one. St. Paul, Mission Circle here is 18. I'll just think it's correct. It's got quite a few. And there are half of them are back there. Uh, St. Paul, Stony Hill is seven. Is that right? Okay. And so that would total up for uh, LW member, LWML members as a total of 47. And then they had five guests, plus there was a special guest, so that would make six and three pastors. So that would make 55, or 56, I'm sorry, as the total number of people here today. Who's the one lady that's here from St. Jacoby's? Grace? Um, okay, approval of minutes for the spring 2022 and this um, fall 2022 meetings. Um, we've opted not to read those at the meetings, um, and you have a copy of that in your folder. Hopefully everybody's gotten a chance to review them. Were there any questions, additions? Can I have a motion then to accept the minutes as presented? Can I have a second on that? Second. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. 
Okay, we got a second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. Passed. Okay, invitation to the fall rally. Um, we're, something interesting is going to happen in the fall. Um, St. Paul's Lutheran Church, town of Washington, and her sister church, Emmanuel Lutheran, Cecil, are going to co-host the fall rally. And I think that this is something that, as our societies are sometimes getting smaller, um, it, might, it might be a, a format that we want to look at if, if that happens to your church, if you have you know, not enough people you think to um, present, to host a, a rally. So do we, have a, do we have an invitation? So stay, stay tuned for that information. Okay, um, registration and financial report. Do we have someone? Okay. It's turned on. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, registration. As you heard the numbers from Karen, we received two hundred thirty-five dollars in registration fees, that's $5 for each person who attended. Uh, the offerings received in that combined, the offering plate that was near the door as you came in, plus there was a mite box as well. All of that is combined and it, it becomes mites. That total was $313.54, 313.54. The only expense is that for our speaker, and so we'll be sending to district a total of $468.54. Okay. And while I'm talking, I'll talk about the gifts of the heart. Um, they had asked, or Mr. Landgrave, our, our principal, had asked for specific items. As you saw out there, he wanted Ziploc bags, quart-sized tissues, um, hand sanitizer, not hand sanitizer, the, the disinfectant wipes, and paper toweling. And if you've been shopping lately, you know what paper products cost nowadays. It's off the charts. So we have an abundance of these materials that were brought in by you today, and we're, and we're very, very grateful for that. And it's quite a blessing for our, for our school. And also there was a little basket for monetary contributions, so people did also leave some cash. So that will be used, that cash that we received will be used to buy additional supplies that Mr. Landgrave had asked for, paper toweling and et cetera. So that's our gift from the heart, and we just thank you so much for your, your bountiful hearts. Four hundred sixty-eight and fifty-four point five four. Pastor Palmer, can you um, give us a blessing on the, the mites and the gifts from the heart? And were those um, mites going to be brought forward? As the mites are being brought forward, please stand. bow our heads in prayer. O gracious eternal God, we give you great thanks for the privilege to serve you in your kingdom, and we give you thanks for your people who day by day and year by year uh, gather mites for the sake of kingdom work. And on this day we present these mites along with the gifts of the heart before you, asking that you would richly bless them for the sake of building up your people and extending your kingdom here and throughout the world. And so, into your hands, O Lord, 
We commend these gifts, asking all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. fellowship hall because I think he has some films and stuff. It's going to be um, Aaron Landgrave from um, the principal here at St. Paul's uh, School and he was fortunate and, and was able to go to the Holy Lands and he's going to give us a presentation on that. So um, stretch your legs a little bit, take seating out in uh, the, where it's set up there and we'll continue with his presentation. <laughs> 